And this is what you guys don't want to hear. This is the type of stuff that goes darker than the red pill. This is the real truth that won't be discussed on other channels because it's too deep and it's something that some of you guys, you can change it, but it takes lots of time and conditioning. What's up YouTube, it's Young Man's Daily Red Pill back with another video. Thank you guys for clicking on today's video. Liking the content, sharing the content, help me spread this red pill message. It's going to be a very important message and topic today because it doesn't get covered that often in the manosphere, even though it's something that is talked about quite frequently. Whether you like the term alpha or beta, sigma, gamma, all the different terminologies that we use to basically sum up different archetypes of male-female interactions uh, within the uh, current societal structures that we have. It just makes it easier to use those terms. And a lot of you guys take it way too seriously, all right? A lot of you guys get way too caught up in the alpha male, beta male, gamma male, sigma male terminologies, all right? And you guys need to understand if that offends you, if you somehow find <clears throat> that that terminology is offensive, if me talking about how alpha males uh, interact with women differently than beta males and women treat beta males differently than they treat alpha males, then you truly, I think, don't understand what it is to be an alpha male, all right? And you're hating, all right? So you can't go into it with a hateful spirit. You have to go into it with more of an a learning and wanting to grow your knowledge, all right? You have to be able to put your own feelings aside and how you've once interpreted the world and the dating market and everything like that and everything around you and be able to look at it from a introspective point of view where you more so are just looking at the world for what it is and your experiences with it might be different than someone else's experiences with it. But I'm trying to help you guys out and I'm going to sum it up basically in this video so uh, there's no more confusion and for once and for all um, you guys understand the actual interactions that alpha males have with beta males and it comes from uh, I got a, I got tons of comments actually and a lot of people dislike the video usually I usually don't get 15 dislikes in the first day but basically I was talking about how there's beta male haters and the beta male haters if you want to check out that video I'll put the card up in, in the top right here if you want to check it out um, but yeah, a lot of you guys didn't necessarily care for that video because you thought that the terminology beta and alpha are overused and they're not the correct terminology. Wait for it. Why would that offend you? Why, why did that get to you? That's what I want to know. Why, why was the whole terminology of alpha, beta get to you? You know, it, it didn't get to me when I was watching Red Pill content before I started creating this channel. You know why? Because I didn't care what I was because I knew who I was in myself, all right? And that's how you guys should think. So just because I talk about certain characteristics within one certain type of group, which is an alpha male or a beta male or a sigma male, doesn't necessarily mean I'm calling myself that or you guys that, all right? If, that, if you haven't had that same experiences, I'm just saying that generally speaking, this is the traits and the characteristics and the lifestyle that the alpha male lives that's different than the beta male. So you can't get offended at me or other people that come onto the, the, this content and, and describe their own personal experiences. You can't hate on them, you can't get mad at them because that is their life, that's all they've known. Just like maybe for all your life, all you've known is being a delta or a sigma or a gamma male, all right? Let's read the comment though. So a subscriber goes on to ask, or I don't know if he's a subscriber, a viewer goes on to ask, to be honest, I'm sick of the beta versus alpha discussion and we need to stop it. Well, some people don't use alpha and beta. I think it's Ron Wills that uses the select versus the non-select, which I actually, I actually really like that one as well. The select male versus the non-select male. No matter who and what type of man you are, women are, o women are only seeing you as a tool. Women only see you as a tool. All men can be dragged to the plantation and trapped in it. The system is set up to benefit women. 
You don't need women to validate yourself how great you are as a man. You are just desire them. Okay, so there's a few just errors right there, just some grammatical errors, but I'll try to, I, I'm pretty sure I understand where he's coming from and some of the points that he wanted to, uh, that he, he addressed. And a lot of you guys kind of agreed, or I saw similar comments, or people that raised the similar questions or concerns on my, on my content and were kind of like angry or were frustrated that I was still using the terms alpha and beta, not sure why, not sure why it offended you. Um, but let's break this down. No matter what type of man you are, women only see you as a tool. But a tool for what? But a tool for what? What do women see you as a tool for? All right? So, for someone writing this comment, it sounded almost like a negative, all right? And yes, women do see you as a tool. Whether she's a single mom looking for a dad and a provider that goes to church and she's done and she's past her epiphany phase, past her hoe phase, and now she's trying to lock down a man, she's going to be looking for more of this certain type of tool that's more stable. On the other hand, there could be a woman that is looking for more of a sex tool or a dominant total alpha male type of guy. And this guy is strictly dickly, all right? He's strictly dickly, and this is what you guys don't wanna hear. This is the type of stuff that goes darker than the red pill. This is the real truth that won't be discussed on other channels because it's too deep and it's something that some of you guys you can change it, but it takes lots of time and conditioning. And some of you guys aren't necessarily as blessed and well endowed in order to have this type of confidence to do these certain types of things and treat women a certain type of way. And I'm not necessarily advocating for it, I'm just saying this, there's, there's yes, women see you as tools, but which type of tool? The beta bucks tool that gets used, abused, manipulated, or the alpha side of things that gets her at her best, gets her wet, gets her all these different things, gets her wheel spinning. She has, she fantasizes about you. And it seems like in this case, he's viewing women as someone that will only see him as a beta provider type of tool, not the alpha C type of tool where he's strictly dickly, all right? That's a whole different world and a whole different universe. I would rather be on that side, the Strictly Dickly, because it's free and you both get pleasure, no strings attached, than be on the other side that is beta male provider. And I've been down that whole rabbit hole being the nice guy, caring for her when she's at her lowest points, being her emotional tampon. Trust me guys, you don't want to be on that side. So it really just depends on your, your perspective and experiences in life. All men can be dragged to the plantation and trapped in it. Very true. That is true. Uh, the system is set up to benefit women, yes. You don't need women to validate yourself how great you are as a man. You are just desired of them. All right, yep, that is true. I will say, though, I will say this one thing about alpha males before we close out. If you are an alpha male, not only will you be able to extend your time with the woman you are currently dealing with, but she will be looking up to you in a way that she will not leave you and she will continue to provide for you and she will be more afraid of losing you than you are of losing her, which puts her in a scarcity mindset and you in more of an abundance mindset because you're so fo focused on your purpose. So she has nowhere else to go. She necessarily can't do better. She can't monkey branch from the highest branch. So when guys come on here and say, she's always gonna leave no matter what, now, eventually, I believe she will leave. But if this guy, the alpha male, if he's able, and, and it takes a very like 0.01% type of male to do this, all right? I don't know anyone that's done this yet. I, I maybe know one guy in the past, I'm not sure if he's still with this chick, that did everything for him. He was like a total alpha male type of guy. He didn't have much going on for him, lived on a couch. But he gave this woman such an emotional roller coaster, and he would constantly be able to pass her tests and he just did his own thing and he would he would just be gone for days and then he would come back, uh, smash her and then leave again. He was able to keep this woman around and she would pay for his Jordans, pay for all his shoes and 
all his clothes, all his jewelry, and I, I think his car, honestly, like all these different things. She basically took care of this man, and I know for a fact she didn't cheat because she was so obsessed with trying to change this man, and he knew the game well enough to try to always look for jobs and look to try to self-improve, and he worked out and stuff like that. He played basketball, but then he would know well enough to not completely change for her. So if you want to play that game, I don't like playing that game, all right? That's, why, that's one of the reasons I'm not in a relationship right now, because you do have to play that BS game of emotional roller coaster, passing all her tests, this, that, and the other, and if you do hit on all cylinders, you will potentially extend your stay longer than anyone else, because you understand red pill knowledge and the understanding the game, but who wants to do that, all right? Who wants to seriously be constantly tested like that and have to give an emotional roller coaster every single day, disappear and then come back, treat her good one day, one day and treat her like absolute garbage the rest of the week. It's, it's absolutely, it's not healthy, all right? And it puts you, it's almost like you have to think like a woman. You have to understand her hypergamous nature is always on. She's always looking to monkey branch and look for something better. If you're a total alpha male, if you're giving her that emotional roller coaster, if you're, it, it is absolutely so difficult to do this, all right? This is why people think uh, it's impossible. I've seen it though firsthand, women that will do all these different things for these men that have been so up on emotional roller coasters and constantly passing tests, doing their own thing, not caring to the woman, constantly staying in their own frame. And they've been, yes, they've been able to keep the woman around and loyal and actually uh, the woman's been serving the man and she hasn't cheated so it's a lot of work and honestly the average person cannot cannot do this and remain healthy all right it's, it's just not healthy it's not a healthy lifestyle and eventually if you practice it enough the game actually starts to become a part of you and you don't even have to think about it anymore and that's kind of where my friend got the guy I knew he got to that point where it almost became unhealthy and he, he started to become a narcissist. I don't know what happened to him. I haven't talked to him in a long time because I moved. But he was able to do it, and I've seen other guys do it in the past. So you guys have to understand that the total alpha male, which is very, very rare, yes, he can extend his stay with women. All right? He can. Is it healthy? No, it's not necessarily healthy at all. All right? Just want to end on that. Hopefully that cleared up some confusions concerns that you guys had in, in my last video. I saw some of the comments. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that helped you guys out there. Drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, share the content so this channel continues to grow. Let me know your thoughts on this topic. Love you guys. Stay blessed. Stay red pill. Peace and out.